Well, you know what they say, it's, all, it's always something. So I'm looking around in this, uh, in this radio here, um, just going through with a nut driver and tightening down all the ground lugs that I can, and I come across this. This is the terminal strip. These are the, uh, uh, the primary leads for the modulation transformer connected to this terminal strip, and those are the secondary leads that go to the plate caps of the 6146 modulator tubes. Well, look at this terminal strip. There's been an event there. I don't know what happened, uh, but it left a, uh, a bunch of, uh, of uh, burned residue uh, on the chassis and on these wires next to it. So, um, I don't know what was connected there, but whatever it was is vaporized. <laughs> so, we'll have to take a look into that, and that's uh, a good opportunity and a good moment to uh, use the ohm meter to uh, measure the uh, uh, resistance of the uh, primary and secondary, the modulation transformer. Uh, the values are in the back of the, uh, the manual, so it's no big deal uh, to just uh, measure them and make sure that they're uh, pretty close to what they ought to be. And uh, um, usually there's not any problem. Um, I don't think I've run across a failed Valiant uh, modulation transformer yet, but there's always a first time. So something has happened in here and, uh, and we don't know what, uh, but uh, we'll find out. Okay, what we're going to do right now is uh, measure the resistance of the uh, primary and secondary of the modulation transformer. And this should tell you right here that you should, between the center tap and either side of the primary, should read about 18 ohms and 36 ohms across the whole thing. And for the secondary, uh, between the center tap and either side, about 45 ohms, and across the whole thing, 90. Now, if your readings are an ohm or so different, don't worry about it. You also want to check between these windings and ground to make sure that there's no short uh, to ground inside the transformer, and also measure between the primary and the secondary. There should also be no connection there, so there's no internal shorts. So what we got here is uh, one lead of the uh, volt of the uh, ohm meter on the center tap, uh, and we're reading one side of the primary, 19 ohms, that's about right. Book says 18. And we'll move this over to the other side. It's reading 17 and a half, close enough. And we already checked these things uh, to ground just to make sure that there's no short and uh, you can run this up to, you know, 200 megs or something for more sensitivity. But we did that and that's okay. The other thing that we're going to do, put the camera down here for a second, is um, um, measure the secondary. And the, to measure the secondary, this is one of the uh, it's one of the plate, uh, one of the leads that goes to the plate caps of the modulator tubes. So uh, we'll just hook a clip lead onto that. Not a very good, not a very good clip lead at all. This thing's been mangulated. Anyway, and uh, the other clip lead is going to go down here uh, as soon as I find it to the other plate cap. In this case it had a resistor on the uh, the plate cap so we're going around that. So there we are those two leads and we're reading uh, 88.7 and the book says 90. Close enough. So then uh, if we go to center tap um, up here which is the uh, the B plus lead. That's this one right here, I think. 
Yeah. So there we are reading um, 48 and a half ohms. Um, book says 45. Close enough. Let's look at the other plate lead. There's the other plate lead. And it's reading 43. Close enough. Uh, these connections are not real swift and uh, when you use using clip leads like this you can have some error but uh, these things are pretty good and if you measure between the two of them um, you should read about 90 ohms well, we did that before but there we are 89 90 ohms. So we're, we're doing real good. Now if you have trouble identifying these leads, um, it's these transformer leads, uh, they get old and heated and can't read the color very well anymore. But the, the, the wires that are connected to the terminal strip um, um, are, usually don't change color that much. And so you can see here, ah, Now you should be able to see, except the lighting is so poor, that we've got a purple, a yellow, and a black black lead there. And if you look in your book, there's a handy dandy little chart for the wiring harness somewhere. Anyway, there's a wiring harness chart and uh, it will show you the those uh, those leads uh, coming out here, uh, black, yellow, and and red, and what they connect to. So you can identify the transformer leads that way, or just use your transformer and you'll figure it out. But you've watched me now, and they're always going to be in this sequence that I've just showed you. Now, yesterday we saw that there was this burn section in here. These two plate leads for the uh, the plates of the modulator tubes used to come down to this terminal strip and then their wires went down through the hole. Well obviously they arced over there and burned the living crap out of that terminal strip. So somebody has spliced this nice new uh, high voltage uh, wire on here. This is exactly what you want for high voltage. It's got this uh, inner conductor in the outer or inner insulation in the outer. And so they've, uh, they've spliced this wire together and run it straight down through the chassis. Nothing wrong with that at all and probably preferable for the way they built it. So that's what you do to uh, uh, test your modulation transformer. Uh, if you found what I found, uh, uh, resistance readings that are normal, uh, no shorts between the primary and secondary, and no shorts to ground from either the primary or the secondary, then chances are you've got a good mod transformer. Now when you start running high voltage and audio through it, uh, it still could have an internal fault, uh, but it's not very likely. Okay, as we did with the modulation transformer, we'll also do with the uh, plate transformer, the low voltage transformer, and uh, the driver transformer and the chokes. So you can measure between this point, this black wire, and this black wire and you're measuring um, across the uh, or the uh, through the uh, high voltage choke and you get 45 ohms and uh, like that through there. Here's the uh, here's the uh, secondary of the uh, high voltage uh, transformer and uh, you measure that and you get uh, 100 ohms. So you just uh, work your way through there and uh, you'll find that like when you measure the center tap to either side of a winding uh, they're often not symmetrical because they're just not perfectly wound but they'll uh, they'll be pretty close. So unless you find uh, something awful uh, whenever you measure one of these things like this choke also measure to the chassis ground and 
make sure there's no short. Uh, but you can smell this, this transmitter, and if there was any burned transformer windings in here, you'd be able to see it and you'd see evidence of burning. Uh, I was concerned when I uh, saw this business over here. This is the only uh, arc uh, that I can find in here, and this was uh, the modulator leads arcing over uh, and apparently didn't do any damage. So uh, there you go. Use your table, and uh, with the value you've got, this a lot of transmitters you won't you won't have these measurements. But uh, uh, if you don't, then you've got to uh, put some AC on it and. Uh, uh, measure the secondaries in the uh, voltage and make sure it's working.